hello hello guys welcome back to my channel and i call you crypto peeps because this channel is all about cryptocurrency fundamental and technical analysis trading indicators and etc so hopefully you're able to watch my previous videos and was able to learn what you are looking for if not kindly look forward to other content but for today is kind of a little bit of different thing because i will discuss uh gcash because they have an exciting news regards to cryptocurrency but for now i will just um, get in touch what they are offering on their app it's called g invest okay it's not cryptocurrency yet but soon they're going to announce for sure but for now um i will discuss to you what are mutual funds because in gcash there are five um, options or investments that you can choose from basically you have to just have a phone and a globe phone number or i think you can use other numbers too as long as it can receive a verification code and uh, also you need an email there is a um, kind of a questionnaire that you also have to complete and you have to answer them truthfully because that's where they're going to gauge what kind of investor you are right so it can be that you are the aggressive moderate or just the low uh type of investors so with that being said what are mutual funds so mutual funds are pools of money collected from many investors for the purpose of investing stock bonds and other securities mutual funds are owned by a group of investors and managed by professionals in other words a mutual fund is a collection of securities owned by a group of investors and managed by a fund manager so why do i need to show you this uh picture above is this is how your investment in gcash would gonna flow like so investors say example me um i will invest 50 pesos and then uh you you'll would like to invest five, uh, 50 pesos pesos also you like to test the waters and then your friend want to invest 50 pesos and then pull their money together so basically it will be stored and gathered by the fund manager and then um, the fund manager is the one to choose the securities to invest in right so basically we don't have the capability of choosing which uh investment we have to uh be in because it's like in pack one full pack the only way for you to choose from is the five types that it has but if you would like to choose it individually like i want to invest only in apple i want to invest only in microsoft oh no it's not it's like one full pack together okay so those are the securities and then when you invest here of course you're going to generate returns or income so after the returns it will be passed down to the investors which is yun yung kita natin from investing in um mutual fund or in uitf basically okay, so so much for that let's go to the fun fact sheet of um five types of investment that we can have just using a mobile phone and by just spending 50 pesos right san ka pa ba makakakita ng investment na 50 pesos lang you can start i just actually started um using gcash when the pandemic started and then you know just like any other any other business they are exploring innovating and which is uh, so good because they added now four new features in the g invest um features that they have so the first one is the atram peso money market fund so this uh they said had been long time uh, on the app uh, so i was not able to uh, no, because like I said, I just used Gcash when the pandemic started. So Atram Peso Money Market Fund, you will see it there. 
Um, I will show you later, okay? So, the objective of the fund is to maximize income and achieve higher returns compared to regular bank deposits while preserving capital and investing in a portfolio of a very liquid fixed income instrument in maintaining average for you during a year or less. So this is just basically you invest your money and then they're going to give you higher returns, just like in a bank. But compared to a bank, they're going to give you better uh, percentage at the end of the year. Okay? So here we go. Okay, so just the same thing. The investment is for 50 pesos. So the next one is that you can invest in is Atrium Philippine Equity Smart Index. The fund is designed to generate excess returns compared to its benchmark through an enhanced index approach combining the elements of passive and active management so what is being um, compared to this or like beaten by this is the philippine stock exchange index or the psei so there you see 1.1 month and month uh, to end an index so if you want to know more about it you can just read through just uh, type in Atrom uh, Philippine Equity Smart Index Fund. And here, the minimum investment is also 50 pesos. Isn't it amazing, right? Perfect. So next one is the... Um, Next one is the Atrium Total Returns Peso Bond Fund. So if you know, um, the objective of the fund is to maximize total returns or fixed income portfolio. That is to achieve capital gains while maintaining a level of current income consist with the maintenance of principal and meeting the liquidity requirements. So in this kind of investment, if you know what bond is, it's utang or debt. Right? So, example, um, the government has a debt and then you are going to invest in G-Invest for the peso bond fund. Um, the government will borrow the money that you invest in. And then after that, in a certain duration of time, they're going to return to you your um, actual investment plus returns or interest. Isn't it cool? And also here... The investment is 50 pesos only. So now we are going to go through the two global uh, feeder funds, which is number one. So the Atrium Global Consumer Trends Feeder Funds. So the first global consumer funds in the Philippines, the feeder fund seeks to achieve long-term capital growth by investing its assets to target Invesco Global Consumer Trend Fund and that invest in companies that cater to the discretionary needs of the consumers. So as to Atrium Global Consumer Trends Feeder Funds, this is where you, they're going to invest it to. To Amazon, Alibaba, Lowe's, CD Projekt, Nintendo, Activision, Blizzard, EA, Facebook, Match Group, and Netflix. Right? San ka pa makakahanap ng... In just 1,000 pesos, you can invest in these big companies. Like, wow. It's amazing. Like, you are going to, uh, example, in uh, an, another platform. Uh, if you would like to invest in a stock to own the actual um, share of this, it requires like an opening investment amount of 10,000 pesos. But in Gcash or G Invest, 1,000 pesos. The next one is the Atrium Global Technology Feeder Fund. So the feeder fund seeks to achieve long term capital appreciation by investing its assets onto its uh, target fund, which is the Fidelity Funds Global Tech fund that invests in companies throughout the world that benefit significantly from technological advances and improvements. So why put confidence in technology stocks? So if you're going to invest in Atrium Global Technology Feeder Funds, basically they're going to invest it to KLA, Microsoft, Facebook, Alphabet, Samsung, Western Digital, Analog Devices, and PX, and X I Ling X. This is just super overwhelming.
So yeah, you see here also where the company is from. So I think the the minimum amount for you to invest here also is 1,000 pesos only. But considering the amount, it's just 1,000 pesos. But for other Filipino people, yes, I understand they cannot have 1,000 pesos in just a snap of their finger. So there are other three options, which are the bonds, the money market fund, and the equity, smart equity index. Yeah, so it's just 50 pesos. You can just test the water and then see if it's going to be effective for you. So why do you have to invest in Gcash? Or why did I consider investing in Gcash? One, because it excites me. Number, <laughs> number two is because um, it's only 50 pesos. That's the reason why it's, I'm super excited about it. And number three, it's because... Um, I've been trying to open a uh, international um, stock account in order for me to, you know, invest in the global market. But it's really hard to to accomplish. And also, I was able to open one, but oh, the funding is so hard for me. Also, so now that we have G G Invest here in G Cash in the Philippines, I hope that you know. Um, we might not earn a lot from our jobs, but this is really the the best thing that they're trying to to do is for Filipinos to learn how to save for our future. Next big thing that excites me here with GCash is um GCash News. So Manila Philippines Mobile Wallet Gcash is exploring the possibility of adding cryptocurrency to its growing portfolio of financial products and services. So Gcash President and Chief Executive Officer Marta, Officer Marta Sazon said the company, which is operated by Globe Fintech Innovations, Inc., is looking into offering buying, selling, and storing cryptocurrency. While we may be considered a disruptor now, it is important in this dig digital age that we should be mindful of all types of disruptions out there. It's important to know that uh, what the trends are, whether locally and globally, and cryptocurrency is part of that, swa uh, Sazon, Sazon said. So, perfect. This is what I am looking for. Because finally, there will be a local... Um, super very accessible thing though there is really other like coins ph products that you can use to invest in in others to invest in cryptocurrency but gcash is super like handful you don't need to give a lot of identification verification and everything because basically this is local and i think it's more uh, easy to access mobile friendly um, to use and I just want to tell you that I am really a fan of cryptocurrency it's uh, I think one of the things that excites me in investing